<laughs> and what what is fair is just what these two characters do to one another in this matchup. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm wondering how it's gonna be for Kazuya in the disadvantage, notoriously known for being bad in the disadvantage, supposedly. There's a lot of ways for Kazuya to get out, but especially when you're playing against Game & Watch, the offstage is going to fare very badly for him, uh, for uh, Kazuya. Yeah, and, and so it just kind of, you know, it's a, a very quintessential. Like, just Game & Watch isn't like a real specific archetype character. He's not like a zoner. He's not really a grappler, but he has just this insane toolkit and like one serious drawback being his health for the most part. Uh, the the art like the best get up option in the game, and you're gonna be taking on a character that usually neutralizes that those options pretty consistently. But uh, yeah, let's rock it. Here we go. All right, now we got electric versus up B. Let's see who's stronger. <laughs> Starting off on small battlefield. I wouldn't be surprised if we see this entire set take place on SPF, to be honest with you. Neo now getting one of those excellent conversions off one grab. Jab oh. one, two, three, but it's just not true, and Monty knew. So while that, that uh, Salvo favored Neo, lost but he's already control. at kill percent, man. Just survived that one choke slam, though. He's not going to survive another one, Gucci. I will say Game & Watch does have the advantage in terms of combos, but the kill potential from Kazuya might be Maybe fare has really the badly. advantage in terms of combos. I mean, some of the electrical and Godfist confirms are just bananas. But a lot of early percent juggling and uh, what to do off of stray hits is definitely there. But uh, there ain't nothing stray about Kazuya Uppy. That move was meant to murder you. <laughs> Giving him a taste of his own medicine with the Uppy treatment. Yeah. Like, my Uppy's good too. Okay. Oh, here we go. Furps tag and he's got dead to right. Into the DP. Strike two for Monte on that stock. It's a fair out way to try to beat this one back, but hey, Nino's well versus this matchup at this point. And sometimes, man, it doesn't matter. Oh, an excellent sliding side B there. He snuck that one in at the right frame, the right time. Monte caught completely unaware. Yeah, Nito's still holding on to his third stock. Monty's going to have to keep his execution at 100%. Can't drop any of these combos. Has to make the and most out of them. And he couldn't even kill him off the key. And that's just a great job by Dino to keep surviving. Keep using that that H, the, that health bar as a resource. Because it just doesn't matter how many times you punch Kazi in the face. He's going to punch back harder. He's a super heavy. Don't yeah. forget, this man is heavy as heck. Excellent job there. Survive, not able to. Or, it's securing the stock off the back here from Monty. But this might be one of those games you just kind of take for... Uh, Take for info, try to bring it back to game two. Nevertheless, he wants to can totally freeze the pace of the game. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> A knight on shield? Uh, wild stuff here. Oh, he was so close to getting the hammers to connect, but obviously one of the big advantages. The F smash, beautiful stuff. One of the big advantages of the Electric God Fist, the ability to uh, in vulnerable armor through a lot of hitboxes, too. Nevertheless, Monty forcing Nito's last one. Oh. He almost struck him there. Not quite enough height, and that's going to do it, though. Yeah, that's going to do it. So light of a character. And just, there's just always so Kazuya many Kazuya. kill confirms you can escape from the Kazuya blender after a while. And despite the fact that Monty fought back valiantly to try and bring that one to a last stock, he just ran out of time, ran out of options. Because it's Kazuya Mishima, man. He's a bad man. Yeah, a very bad man. Oh my goodness. But you were saying, man, he's just going to collect as much data as he can. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> that is a, just a slight, slight one two check there. <laughs> Ooh, what a stock right there for me, though. Let's see if things will change this game number two. I think if Monty is able to find himself a solid lead and then force the issue with the Kazuya, then he'll be fine. But Game & Watch having to approach Kazuya is not the plan. No, it's definitely not the play. Well, the play is keeping Nito in disadvantage like that. Bombs away too. You oh, have... why did he get two nines already? I, hey, sometimes it's better to be good than lucky. <laughs> the inverse of what I said earlier. Um, and force him off stage again. It's so weirdly, it's just a, like a weird floating sensation when you're like body blocked off stage by Electro and Godfish Shield. It's like, wait a minute, where's the ground? Where's my safety? <laughs> yeah, it, it could force a lot of air dodges too. A bad panic air dodge off stage, man. That's that's the name of my game, not the name of these two players' games. Excellent players, Ooh, Monty Tornado. Gave up center stage. To be fair, 
when it comes to Game Watch, it's actually not necessarily the worst thing in the world to, to give up stage positioning because the character's mobility and ability to just explosively You can just fly all the way yeah. up. Yeah. There's some scramble situations you kind oh, of no. land from behind, but you can't keep playing like that if you're expecting to beat Nito. He's just too strong in these moments, recognizing the situation, God, armoring damn. through the bombs. Yo. That is crazy. At 172, Game & Watch having a really hard time taking the stock. Yeah, the, the stray hits there. And Monty's also really failed to connect with the hammers too, but he has not failed with Franklin. Loyal companion, turtle shape back here. Why it's a turtle, no one knows. <laughs> Franklin, the angry turtle. Yeah, he's angry, man. He's ready for Kazuya. The fish bowl's out. Trying to show Kazuya the world. Oh my gosh, the knockback on that was so crazy. He almost caught Monty being a little too aggressive with the drift in, but I mean, once David watched, there really is no drift in that's too aggressive. <laughs> Yeah, he could get punished, though, with the Electric Wind Godfist, so good thing that he didn't get hit with that. Now, Nito in the disadvantage, has the Rage Art on lock. Nibonte has to be careful of space, his space in here. He does not want to be caught in Kazuya's clutches. Nito doing his darndest to make sure that happens. But here, I think this is when the stage counterplay comes into play because Amante is really deft with making it so that Nito can't really get comfortable around that, that floating platform on Smash Bell. Yeah, he did a really good job at controlling that platform. Rage R is gone now. So this is the solid lead that I was talking about. It looks really bad for Kazuya when he has to actually make the approach against Game & Watch, who is so vertical. He's so up and down, and uh, the aerial game for Kazuya is not that strong. Kazuya, I mean, also, Nito's, the jump is super small. Yeah, and Nito's got to uh, commit to more guesswork in terms of where Monty wants to land, too. Which is it, it, one of the funnier things that because every increasing strike with uh, Kazuya's moves, Ooh. Uh, aside from the other one, Godfist and a couple other subs, increases the knockback. He's not able to immediately move into space and punish Monty for uh, retreating backwards after each interaction. Monty yeah. now, just uh, like a. High in the sky with all those up air clips. Oh no, the gate from hell. He but, can make that back. But it's game watch. Yeah. <laughs> that just, was a good flow in too with the bucket. Yeah, but you know, all his conversions, and this is not over this yet. This is folks. low key even. Yeah. This is low key even. Delaying the up air there in order to just keep on piling up damage. What Monty's game plan really is is trying to force Nito off the ledge and convert with back air, but oh, he no. can't really sit here. This oh man, he got popped up. I don't think Nito was expecting that. Is this kill percent for Rage Art? I wouldn't be surprised on Smashville. Oh, trying to call the jump outs. But again, that works against characters that aren't causing Mishima with a bad jump squat. Yeah, no way in. Oh, no. Is Actually, it, oh, oh, he guessed it. right. That's it. Yeah. Yep. GG's. Oh, hey, right. We were best of three territory. I forgot yeah, about that. 2 0 and a handshake. Uh, Monty kind of letting that one slip out of their control. Uh, it's towards the end. That's, that's just kind of how it is when you're dealing this with This is definitely kill percent. I'm telling you, bro. Game & Watch is so light. Being at 40 is a threat. But that's the fair trade off for all the tools you have in order to just make your opponent suffer for trying to play the game. But the thing is, Kaji doesn't have to jump. <laughs> he was also playing very, very telegraphed, too. He was going for a lot of the forward airs. And, uh, yeah, but you, you have to play like that because that's, that's Game & Watch's game. You, you, just, you just hammer it over and over and over again, and you catch some shielding, and you try to get your flow chart going, and it just did not materialize for Monty. But when you have a crouch dash like that, and also the invincible uh, Electric Wind Godfist, he was able to get in there pretty consistently. Yeah, it'd be like that. But folks, you can be consistent by sticking around for top eight action. We are going to take a break, and I believe that's going to do it for myself and Gucci-san. Yeah. It's been a pleasure bringing you guys uh, top 32, top 16 action. If you guys are interested, I'm going to be casting up at Major Upset. That's going to be hype, man. Mike. Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he cut you off. He was like, man, we don't care about Major Upset. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Lacey, what are you doing to me? Uh, Major Upset. I'll be on um, uh, Satellite Gaming's Twitch channel. I'm going to be doing one of the first early blocks on Saturday. Please tune in. Please follow my homie, Gucci-san, at William Cave right there. You can see it at the bottom. It's always a blast to be able to commentate here at MSM. I appreciate everybody from the HBox stream so much. It's been a blast. It's your boy, Backyard Smash Gucci-san. It was a pleasure to commentate with you, Pal Fro. Yes, sir. Check us out, Pal Gaming, on all socials. Check me out on Twitter. Take care, folks, and stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for HBox. Peace out.